Hallelujah. Praise God. For all God has been doing for us, we deserve to give him thanks. Let's lift up our voice and say, Lord, we are grateful. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answer to prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you for the deliverance. We are grateful to you for the deliverance. We are grateful to you. Thank you, Father, for every answer to the prayers. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. You will not struggle to experience your own new dawn. Amen. Whatever barrier has been put in place against you, they will be swallowed up tonight. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put those hands together for the Lord one more time and please be seated. God bless you. Very quickly, we're not going to waste much time. The power of destiny help us. We're going to read two key scriptures. Amos chapter 7. Amos. Pastor Amos. Amos chapter 7. Verse 2 and verse 5. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. Now look at verse 5 again. Then said I, O Lord God, cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. Is God a stammerer? Uh, 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 uh. God is not a stammerer. By whom shall Jacob arise? I want you to hear this. Don't forget, there is a prophecy on Jacob's head. Genesis 27. A weighty prophecy for that matter. But I want you to know that no matter the weight of prophecy on your head, there is a helper that will drive it to fulfillment. There is a helper. By whom shall Jacob arise? Let me start from this ministry. Even by mistake, Papa wouldn't have arrived at where he is now if God had not sent him the right helpers. Do you agree with me? So that 26 months he spent praying, he was not calling for the anointing. So that you would think now that he was calling for anointing. He was calling for reasonable helpers. There are people you must meet and your life enter gear five. Not slow motion. Not reverse gear. There are people around you now that are making your life be on reverse gear. I won't forget what uh, Paul Richard Jaffa said in 2006 when Papa came for PMFN conference. He said, the result this man has on ground is more than 50 years impute and yet we are still struggling. We started ministry before him. 
is not how long, but how well. For every prophecy to enjoy speed in your life, there are helpers you must call for. First Chronicle chapter 12, let's go again. Let me take it from verse 17 because it has some relevance to where we are going. And David went out to meet them and answered and said unto them, If ye become peaceably unto me to help me, my heart shall be knitted unto you. But if ye become to betray me to my enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hand, the God of our Father look thereon and rebuke thee. Another translation says, cost thee. Then the spirit came upon Amasiah, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side. Thou son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be thy helpers. For thy God helped thee. Then David received them and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not. For the Lord of the Philistines, upon advisement, sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our head. And he went to Ziegler. There fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Josabad, and Jedeah and Michael, and Josabad, and Elihu, and Zeltia, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, say with me, day by day, day, by day. there came to help David, to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that we are ready, armed to the war. And, David, and came to David, to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. Day by day. Say with me, day by day. day, by day. I read a book, I think we need to start reading that book from tomorrow one of the biography book of Pa Enoch Adeboye. His major secret is in this scripture. He said when he started, nobody gave him a chance to succeed. In fact, they even wrote him off. How can a mathematics lecturer come and be general overseer? What will he preach? So he spent hours, not speaking in tongues, at times four hours, at times eight hours. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Give me help. Send me my helpers. Now where he is today, globally, globally, you cannot deny that he has made progress. Am I saying the truth? He says, send me help, Lord. Give me help. Give me help. And God gave him all round help. He's not a shouting preacher, but you cannot deny his effect. He has results. He has cash. He has money. If his house, he has house in almost all the major cities of Nigeria. Send me help. Hear me and hear me well. One of the biggest things God will do for you is to send you the right help. The right help. If you can secure the right help, prophecy is cheap to be fulfilled. Prophecy is cheap to be fulfilled. Because no one, say with me, no one, can live in isolation or can succeed in isolation. You can't succeed alone. You need helpers, which we call destiny promoters and dream makers 
to help you see the reality of the things appointed for you. So no matter how talented you are, no matter how gifted, no matter how anointed, you need destiny helpers. I remember the testimony shared by Apostle Suleiman last year or year before last. He went to preach somewhere. A woman has been praying, Lord, send me my helper. Lord, send me my helper. Now, after his ministration, while he was ministering, <laughs> he called the woman out to pray for the woman. And God told him, whatever she needs, give it to her. The woman needed house rent. God said, pay the house rent. The woman needed money for the children, school fees, and many other things. God said, give her the money. And not only that, I say, give her money again to start her own business. Who like that type? Something will touch you today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. By predestination, there are people programmed, arranged by God to help you experience the fulfillment of prophecy. Whether you are blind from recognizing them, or you are going in the wrong direction, or fighting them, it is still your choice. Do you know that you can have a helper and drive your helper away? Yes, you can. You can foolishly drive your helper away. You can use your mouth to abuse your helper. You can even gossip your helper. Satan can even join you with people that will make you hate your helper. Is a demonic arrangement. Why? Because they know that you are closer to something big. That's why you must be sensitive. So to fulfill destiny, there must be a connection between you and those God are strategically aligned. To help you. The ministry will be celebrating how many years by May? 36 years. But the impact on ground alone is more than 36 years. How will Papa be able to reach all these places if God didn't send him the right helpers? So the helpers, they are designed by God to make prophecy work. Say with me, work. We are talking of new dawn. Do you know where God is going to come from and make new dawn a reality? But there are helpers that will be connected, driven, moved to favor you, to help you, and carry you from the dunghill and place you on top among princes and kings. You can't fulfill destiny alone. Have you seen a man that uh, became husband and wife alone? You can't. So your breakthrough, your change of level, your lifting, your increase is connected to your helper. Say with me, my helper. My helper. So you cannot do what your helper can do. And what your helper can do for you is bigger than what you expected. Hear me and hear me well. The praying platform is one of the awesome opportunity we have in life to connect to our destiny helpers and to our dream makers. And I believe God that as we pray this prayer, wherever your helper is, may God not allow him to rest until he meets you. Yeah. And any power blocking or diverting your helper from reaching you, let God erase them. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. 
So the road to destiny fulfillment is meeting your helpers on time. Where you are now is a function of the helpers you have met. I, I tell you the truth and I lie not. Since I learned and understood this prayer, it's a major prayer. For me, it's more than praying for anointing. No? I will explain to you why. Which anointing do I have to grow a church if not meeting my prophetic helpers? Answer me. Which kind of fasting do I need to do that Oyedeko has not fasted? In fact, he has been fasting for the past 50 years. So all I need to do is to collect impartation and the thing will be working. Are you understanding what I'm saying now? Which kind of message do I need to preach that Abiyo has not preached, Ojeme has not preached, Ibiomi has not preached, Polenenche has not preached? All I just need to do is to come under the impartation of their teaching and I'm flowing and people will be clapping and as if I'm the one that is doing it. You can't understand this thing. And I won't forget it, Biomi. He said, I don't have any message. He said, I'm just riding on the wings of Papa. He said, it's now that I'm starting to have message. Boldly, he will be preaching Papa's message on TV. And we too, we know it's Papa's message. But the truth is that God is giving him the same result as if he's giving Papa. Why? He's riding on the wings of his helpers. People that don't recognize their helpers, they, they struggle to make progress. You become an orphan on the road to progress. Why? You have not recognized your helper. There are four to five different kinds of helpers, which I would like to mention. Number one is your servant. Your servant can be your helper. There are good servants. There are bad servants. A good servant is like the one that scripture talked about. General Neyman had a servant. And he knew his master had a very disgraceful disease called lepo. You know what they call lepo? <laughs> they don't talk about it. It's shameful. You don't announce it. But because she has been used to going for prayer, she said, Sir, if my pastor pray for you, this thing will go. And I understand something. There was cordiality between him and his servants. So he said, okay, your pastor can pray for me. He said, yes, I would like to carry you to my pastor. Let him pray for you. It's not these uh, arrogant masters. You know, we have arrogant masters. He said, okay, take me to your pastor. I'm sure that was the day that she was privileged to enter the Homer Jeep. Do you agree with me? And they got to the pastor's place. The pastor said, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. I'm sure he must have argued. Ah, Jordan, where all the dirty they enter? He says, sir, anything this man talking, they walk oh, I beg, I beg. Just go, just go. Nobody go here. He went and washed and came out clean. Should I tell you something? Your servant can deliver you from danger and your servant can expose you to danger. May God give you the right servants. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. God privilegedly gave me one one time. I will never forget Isaac. It was my... We didn't have bookshop. We were, it was selling in front of the church. I trained him H-N-O-N-D, H-N-D. One pastoral assistant was busy plotting how he would disgrace me, how he would petition me. So he busy, he stood by and heard everything he said. He said, okay, this person where they give me food, chop, pay my house rent, he buy phone for me, buy TV. 
He paid my school fees. One, two, three, four years. Now he won disgrace. So he went and called the others. See what this man is planning. Oh, let's disgrace him before he will disgrace our master. Now, he didn't know. I called all the pastors, all the deacons. They thought it was normal meeting. I just blew the thing up. He, he, in fact, he couldn't finish the cry. He ran away. He has not come back to that church till today. Do you know why? He was evil. Somebody gave me a car. He told them in town that he is the pastor. He collected the car. Till today, no quarrel. Where I'm going is bigger than car. Where I am going is bigger than car. That for me, for me, I need to find. Give me that car, Kyo. If not, there is nothing like that. Take car. Where I'm going now, there are plenty cars ahead. If I had gone now, I'm be fighting. Give me the car. We will have ended in police station. Am I saying the truth? But God forbid. Say God forbid. My joy was that God gave me a helper. The evil plan was aborted. And the shame he prepared for me became what he carried. Anyone planning shame for you, may God raise people that will expose them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Another kind of helper is your wife or your husband. He said, I will make for you a help meet. Should I tell you something? Any husband here, no person can help you. No person has your interest more than the person that you call your wife. That's why Papa can boldly say that my wife is the first member of this church. Everybody can leave, but she cannot leave. True of us. Your husband is your helper. Your wife is your helper. And that's why you must treat your helper well. You must treat your helper well so that you can, it can be well with you. Even scripture says, live peaceably with thy wife so that it shall be well with you. It will not be well with you if she is not at peace with you. Are you hearing me now? That is one helper that you cannot toy with. The second kind of helper, the third kind of helpers, are God-ordained friends. I use the word God-ordained friends because some of the people that you are calling your friends now, they are witchcrafts. Let me tell you why I'm saying they are witchcrafts. Let me tell you why I'm saying they are witchcraft. Some of the people hanging around you now, they are seeking information on how you will be destroyed. People plotting, seeking how you will go down, they easily assess information for people hanging around you that you call friends. They are not friends. They are Judas. And that's why I don't waste time. The moment I discover you as a betrayer, I give you spiritual punch. I punch you spiritually and cast you out like a demon. Whether you are pastor, deacon, or anything. Because if Satan wants to attack you, he will look for someone close to you. But when God ordained friends are around you, Scripture says there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Your true friend cannot betray you. Your true friend seeks your interest. Because as it is well with you, it will be well for him. Is there anyone left of the house of Jonathan that I may show him kindness? Do you know why? Saul was plotting to kill David. Jonathan had a friend called David. He said, my papa, they plan you. You better run now. Go like this. Go like this. He was the one that showed David the route he would take. He, Jonathan was the one that showed David the route he would take because the plot was to make sure that David was killed. Jonathan said, that plan no go work. So 
he was hearing when they were planning the thing. He said, Devo, see road. Take off now. He said, what did they happen? They don't plan. I then go take, strangle your neck. Take off now. Go hide for that place. When you finish, I will tell you when you go come back. That was why, later, later, David said, is there anyone left of the house of Jonathan that I may show him kindness? It's time, it's time for payback. His own father. Now, should I tell you something? If he has succeeded in killing David and he died, Saul so should have inherited the throne. I mean, uh, Jonathan should have inherited the throne. But Jonathan knew that uh, that throne does not belong to him. It does not belong to him. Is there any left of the house of Jonathan that I may show him kindness? One of your major prayers, Lord, send me right friends, relevant friends, divine friends. When your true friends come, they stick with you. They believe your vision more than you. They are ready to sacrifice anything to make sure that your life work. True friends. True friends. No wonder David cried out in that place we read in 1 Chronicle 12 and verse 17. Have you come to betray me before my enemies? If that is what you are planning to do, the curse of the Lord rests upon you. But if not, my peace rests with you. And they said, Dine are we, David, for we have come to help you. Dine are we. So some people around you now, they are not friends. They are witchcraft. Charismatic witchcraft. Be telling you, bless you. Every day they are whatsapping you. I'm not saying it with fear. I'm saying it with confidence. If there is anything you need, write help us. Even Papa, as we are talking now, Papa knows his right helpers. There are secrets Papa cannot tell anybody, but he can tell Abuye. He can tell Ojeme. Am I correct? Because these ones, they have, they have knitted, they have bonded their life with him. So there is no amount of lie or faking you can fake around Papa against these two people that Papa will believe you. Because when it was dry, they were there. So is it now that everywhere is shining that you want to come and outshine them and take place? It can't work. If there is any prayer you need to pray, Lord, my right help us. Your life change motion. Your life enters speed lane. When your helpers appear, both in your career, there are kind of helpers God will send. Your potentials will jack up. The grace you never knew existed will jack up. Why? They will fuel you into progress. And lastly, the next set of helpers you need is prophetic helpers. We're in an age in the church where people don't recognize prophetic helpers. By whom shall Jacob arise? Let's give you examples of prophetic helpers. Is Saul also among the prophets? Immediately he came into the company of the prophets. Scripture says he went to his high place. Prophets helps us to raise our life and raise our destinies. Your prophet can come in form of your pastor. They manifest in faces. The moment they finish an assignment, God sends another one. It is your choice to accept. It is your choice not to accept. 
And good at him, they never force themselves into you. Neither will they beg you to accept them. But the people whom they are sent to, God ministers to them through dreams, by discernment, by impression, and as they recognize and believe them, that's how they shoot. I remember one young man, his name is Felix. He was a primary school teacher. God told him, follow this pastor. He has one, uh, we call it ladies' motorcycle. I don't know whether they have it in Lafayette here. You know it? That was his highest asset. God told him, follow this pastor. So he came one day that I should pray for him, that God said he should follow me. I said, follow me for what? Do you want to be pastor? He said, I don't know, but he said, I should follow you. Now this young man had gifts. The gift he had is just computer. He knows how to do internet connection. Simple. Something happened. After I prayed for him, there was a group of Japanese in Sapele that had a need for someone that will do this job for them. Somebody has been collecting 600000 every week. No results. He told them that all he needs is $2.5 million. If it does not work, they should not pay him. So what he did as he entered there, he looked at all the connections that they put and removed everything and set up his own. He said, don't pay until the next 48 hours. Let's prove it whether it will work. If it works, pay. If it does not work, I remove my thing and go. The thing worked. So they didn't pay him 2.5 million. They paid him 6 million. And they told him that his contract will be renewed for him every week, 1, 1 million. Felix that was driving ladies' motorcycle, bought land. Felix that was driving ladies' motorcycle, before my very eye, has built four-bedroom flat. He finished that one, he bought another one. I say, Felix, come on, tell me the truth. Because the change was too sudden. Too sudden, too sudden. Too, when I mean too sudden, too sudden. Hear me? I don't know how long it has taken you to see food and eat. I don't know how you have struggled. But one prayer I need to pray for you. May God bring you just one helper. Yeah. One helper will be used to restore your wasted years. Another young man that I met, his name is Engineer Igodo. Igodo is looking like a conductor. It is look, there is nothing that shows engineering. How well, much more electrical engineer? He says current certified. But when I looked at him, I doubted him because suffering can disfigure people. Do you agree with me? Yes. Suffering disfigured that young man. But um, he said, God said you should pray for me. I said, for what now? Do you want to come and become pastoral assistant? He said, no. He brought one plantain. We laughed that day. We were even laughing at the plantain. I'm telling you the truth and I lie not to. But I still prayed for him. I said, Lord, whatever this plantain meant for this young man, let it be a point of contact to his turn around. See where the whole show started. From nowhere, somebody called him to come and quote for a job in Port Harcourt. And it was an electrical job for a very big building. He did that job. I didn't know the what. He, they now gave him another one in Lagos. So he was shuttling Lagos, Port Harcourt. Lagos, Port Harcourt. When I now saw him again, he told me he has bought a land that is building his duplex. The first thing we did, we started laughing again. Because there are things you can cheaply believe 
there are things that will come to you like a surprise. He says, sir, I'm not lying to you that my duplex is already going on now. That my daughter is going to enter Covenant University and pay the school fees. When he said, I paid the school fees, I said, come. What happened? He said, the first job, they paid him 12 million. 12 million for what? He said, is it material money or profit? He said, that is part of my profit. He said, as I'm talking with you now, I bought another land in Lagos that I will build another duplex. Hear me? This 2018, any power that vowed you will not rise. Let the God of Oyeriko kill the personality. <laughs> Let me come down to refit here. Solo Wise was doing a, a let me say he was a tout in ministry. He will collect small job. All these jobs, they pay 120, 150. That's how he has been jumping from one place, jumping from one place. God now gave him one job that is dropping good millions. Say with me, good millions. Yeah. When we went to dedicate that his house, that house didn't take one year. He finished the house. Now, Solo Wise is the one that will travel to Dubai, travel to U.S. <laughs> he said, Pastor, my life don't change, you. Is anywhere where you go, if you like enter Lafia inside, inside, I go follow you enter. Should I tell you something? When you meet your helpers, your dues rest in your hand. Your suffering comes to an end. Your reproach is wiped away. Now, Chibuzo, the first day I entered Refid, After the message, she said, I appear to her in the dream. You have not known me. I don't even know your name. I appear to her in the dream. I prayed for her. I said, nine months from now, you will come back with the baby. Guess what? That same month, she became pregnant. I had it on the day of child dedication. I had it on the day of what? Child dedication. What I'm telling you now look like a mystery. But you need this mystery for your life to be better. I bet you there are people seated here now in six months time. The house you have never been able to build in 30 years. God will give you that house. When your helper appear, your struggle is wiped out. When your helper appear. That's why you are going to rise up to your feet very shortly. The friend. <laughs> and you know, amazingly, what we call angelic helpers could be someone seated beside you. I was preaching this message in Rayfield, sometime last year, I preach it almost every quarter. Now, Dickness Rose was sitting close by someone whom she never knew could give her an open door for her business to sell. So, humorously, I said, You don't even know if the person beside you is your helper. She just stopped the woman, You are my helper. <laughs> Amazingly, after the service, the woman started connecting her. Say with me, connecting her. So new set of people that we are buying her Senegalese. And she has Senegalese of 250,000, of 300,000, 350, 400. So she now had new grade of customers by one ministration. And funny enough, they have not greeted each other before. Bless you. What is your name? My name is Chin Chin. Nothing, nothing. After that contact, she had access to government house. She was now connecting governor's wives. Rise up to your feet. Every helper 
ordained for your new door. No one of them will sleep well this night. God will be stamping your name in their hearts to favor you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Studio, put the prayer. Please, when we are praying, if you like, be looking. Be like United Nations. No? Look where. Please, I beg you, pray. Because the fulfillment of your prophecy, your own prophecy, new dawn, is connected to your helper. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Every helper assigned for my new dawn, arise and locate me. In the name of Jesus Christ, my helpers, wherever you are, north, south, east and west, every helper ordained for my new dawn, for my family new dawn, for my career new dawn, for my business new dawn, arise in the name of Jesus. Locate me. I command you to arise in the name of Jesus. Every helper, every helper, ordained for my breakthrough, every helper assigned for my change of level, every helper ordained for my progress, every helper ordained for my increase every helper ordained for my flourishing in the name of jesus christ arise in the name of jesus christ arise my helper wherever you are not south east and west arise in the name of jesus locate me locate me every helper ordained for my family glory for my career breakthrough for my business lifting for my open door for my change of level arise in the name of jesus my helpers Lera man ready she glosi zonare me caro she kupali aleta erado naklo pekle grido si zolaras my helpers my helpers every helper ordained for my new dawn for the new dawn of living for church lafia wherever you are locate me. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, hear my voice. Wherever you are, my name will ring bell in your heart. Locate me. Every helper, ordained for my financial glory, for my ministry glory, for my family glory, for my career glory. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Lerobosh, Jeko Kaprekete, Lerando Lego Brekete Zosia, Maradina Bosho Godoros, Elapodo, Zuna Teketelia, Jaclupe Prida Lusata, Megarado, Jeglo Berete, Ezosane Kliketo, Jikusa Lekatelata, my helpers, wherever my helpers are. In this new dawn era, wherever my helpers are located, in this new dawn era, Holy Ghost, move them to locate me. Holy Ghost, move my helpers to locate me. Labo Shinande Elo Takale Rekle Pepredi Ale Tagaga Jaku Sesona Peilata Resonakleko Jeklo Perate Eraga Gagagagaya. My helpers. Help us of my breakthrough. Help us of my progress. Help us of the fulfillment of the prophecy. Arise. Arise. Wherever you are. Arise. Hear my voice. Look at me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The second prayer we are going to pray. But hear this scripture. Paul said something. 
Second Timothy chapter 4 from verse 10. He said, For Demas had forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescent to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Take Mark. Please bring Mark for me, for he is profitable to me. Hear me? There are people profitable to you. And there are people unprofitable to you. Whether you like it or not. He said, bring Mark for me. It's only Luke that is remaining. Bring Mark. For he is profitable to me. We are going to pray the second prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, let my helpers not rest until my new dumb blessing is fully delivered. This year, wherever your helper is, let him not rest. Let them not rest. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. Lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, let my helpers not rest until my new dawn blessings are fully delivered. Father, wherever my helpers are, let no one of them rest. Every of my new dawn helpers, wherever they are, Father, give them no rest until my new dawn blessings are fully delivered. In the name of Jesus, let my helpers not rest. Every helper of my new dawn, let no one of them rest until my new dawn blessings are fully delivered. Recote preli, Isusiane, Jaco Caleta, Errat de Clico Teco Pale, Jaron Zilan Redilo, Jacolaga Ragada, Ila Preketosizo, Jaco Capracatalia, Recotania Gada, La Zone Precleketosizo, Jacoteli, Rezoza, Blecoteri, Racoterite, Lago Ragada Gayagada. Send me my helpers. Let my helpers not rest this year until my new dumb blessings. Are fully delivered. Let my new my, my new don't help us not rest until my blessings are fully delivered. Let the help us you have ordained for me in this new door. Answer every helper you have ordained for me. Let them not rest until my new don't blessing, until my new don't breakthrough, until my new don't package. They are fully delivered. Recotaliangadade, Genombre de Zusa. Le katayata, le katayata, le katayata. Lord, every helper ordained for my new dawn. Let them not rest until my blessings are fully delivered. Let them not rest. Let them not rest. Let them not rest. Let them not rest until my blessings are fully delivered. In the name of Jesus, let them not rest. Let them not rest until my blessings are fully delivered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you mean the prayer, after now you will continue. But for time's sake, we are going to be cutting it short, short. We are going to take the last part. But hear this. The angel said, since the day you began to pray, God had you. But the prince of Persia withstood me. So your helper can be on the way. Forces will be blocking them. We are going to dislodge every evil force that will be programmed to block your helpers. And that's why we are going to lift up our voice. Any dark power blocking, frustrating my helpers by the blood of Jesus and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command vengeance upon them. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Any dark power, any dark power, 
blocking and frustrating my helpers by the blood of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost I command vengeance upon their head any dark power blocking and frustrating my helpers by the blood of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost I command vengeance upon them every enemy of my helpers any dark power witchcraft power marine power assigned to block and frustrate my helpers by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the blood of Jesus I command vengeance upon their head Liande ku katane shikota Jekote brekleto Izali katona Merande klikote rojiko rataba Liagata rekoto Eprepe lialeta Jeku sizonare Enlebrede junara Belado sododo Rekote rianga gaga 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 Any dark power Blocking and frustrating my helpers by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command vengeance upon their head. Liande ne kruta pablerish izazekli kotero jepurata enakri ketelia zeketerete Jesus ane ketala. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. As you partake of this communion, and as this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, whatever force is blocking your helpers, their assignment is terminated. By the four winds of the Spirit, I decree today, let your helpers not rest until your blessings are fully delivered. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any strange power diverting your helpers from seeing you, from locating you, every arrow of disfavor fired against your helpers to hate you, let that spell be shattered in the name of Jesus. Even beginning from this night, your name will ring bell in the hearts of your helpers. Through dreams and visions, God will be stamping your name in the hearts of your helpers. Say amen like a believer. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Come and see what the Lord has done for me.